Okay, so the focus of the, um, these land-based swim exercises is strength. And the aim is to, we're going to be doing exercises that simulate the body streamline position or body alignment in the water. So before we get started, it's really important that you make sure that you, any exercise that you feel um, hurts, then um, avoid doing it. Also, just make sure that you've read the, the little bit of information about the transversus abdominis muscle, which is a muscle that's located on either side spanning from the pubis bone all the way through the obliques and attaches up here and this is um, in order to contract this muscle it's responsible for um, stabilizing the um, the uh, entire body but in, in terms of lower extremities during movement but it's also um, really important in stabilizing and protecting the, um, the movement of the spine so um, in order to contract it, you need to make sure that during the exercises that you actually breathe in and pull your belly button towards your spine. That way you're always contract contracting and you're also conditioning your um, transversus abdominis muscle or TVA as it's, um, as if you see it written as the abbreviation. Okay, so um, the first exercise we're going to look at is called the hollow rock. Um, and this is, called, uh, this is a stabilizing exercise that is working your transversus abdominis muscle, it's working your main core muscles, it's also slightly working the upper body and also the hip flexors that have caused the hamstrings and the glutes. Okay, so in order to get into this position, you're just going to just lie down on your back, you're going to bring your arms up above your head in what we would say is a streamlined position, so this would be if you're on your front, this would be the position that you will be in if you were in the water doing your push and glide. You're going to slightly bring your shoulder blades off the floor and you're going to slightly bring your feet off the floor and you're going to hold this position for 20 seconds. Trying to keep, squeeze your upper arms against your ears. Bring your chin to your chest because when you're pushing and gliding, you want to make sure you have your head tucked in Otherwise, you end up lifting your head and looking forward and then you're creating frontal resistance because the water's hitting your head, whereas you want the water to go over your head. So we need to learn to bring our chin to our chest rather than in this position, which you might think is streamlined, but actually in the water, you need to bring your chin to your chest, holding that position. Okay, so you do that position, okay, and in the script, your, your plan, you'll be doing that three times. Now, if you want to make that more difficult, you can add a slight weight. It could be a ball, it could be a can of Coke, it could be some flour. You could make it more difficult or more balancing wise by just adding a ball and just holding that position. Remember, try and bring your belly button in towards your spine. Okay, so that's a progression. Another progression, you could use ankle weights or more still, you could use a big cushion or a stability disc and you could try to do this same position, it's going to be a lot more difficult. Try to get the back of your hips onto the stability disc or onto the cushion and then you're going to just slowly take your legs off and back into it. Okay, and the more you're twitching, the more you're working. So even if you, you don't achieve it, but you achieve it for a second or two, you're still working really, really hard to maintain that. I can feel the muscles working so much harder. Okay, so there are your progressions.